So here we have investing.com, very similar to everything we've seen before, like Yahoo Finance and Google Finance, very much like that. It's a nice summary. There's a nice indicator whether you should buy or sell. Strong buy, it's quite good. You can rate also. There's some news, quite in-depth and quite uh, useful news if you are interested in investing in Mr. Price. They do have this for you know multiple companies uh, within South Africa and worldwide this is just the South African one you can see all the news okay, okay there's the task bar or whatever you'd like to call it we're going into financials because we're going to be downloading financial statements there's a nice summary of the financial statements another cool feature that we won't be looking to that much detail there's a nice app for investing.com Okay, so we're going to do the income statement first. So we click on income statement. Nice summary at the top. Here's a full income statement. I'm sure everyone must be aware of this by now, how it looks and everything that goes in it. Please be aware of this key. Prices are in millions of rands. So for example, 4.63 is 4.63 million rand. Not 4.63 rand. So we highlight, copy. Control C if you'd like. We go to Excel, click on data, click on from web. Should be the same on most people's uh, PCs. If you have anything different, let me know. We enter the URL, so paste it or Control V, press OK. And it'll just take a minute to load. You do need to be connected to the internet to perform this. Uh, just by the way, see that's connecting to the internet. And then we come up to the navigator. This basically extracts all the elements from the page. And you can choose out where the financial statement is within the tables. So you see document. Document doesn't have what we want. Table zero, no. Table one, yes, there we go. There's an income statement. Nice and beautiful, all the items. Press load. Can open up queries and connections which is basically where all the connections are stored loading the data up and there we go bada bing bada boom very nice everything included nothing left out nice colors too we're just going to rename this mrp income statement um yeah this is quite a nice way to use the data much more much quicker and and with much more meaning you can use excel formula if you want uh, to do your calculations for your fundamentals and so on so we're going to go on to the balance sheet here's the balance sheet again should know how it looks by now at least roughly again here's the key in millions of rands so be aware of that when you make your calculations and so on just going to copy the link here, control C again, take it back to Excel, go to data again from web. Let that load up a bit because it does take a bit of time. Okay, cool. Paste that in there. Press OK. And we are OK. So we come up again. Okay, it's connecting to the internet. Come up at the navigator again. Same thing as the last time, you just click through finding your document that you'd like. It's normally not document, it's normally table zero or one. Table one, there we go. There's our balance sheet, everything from March, 2019 to present or the most recent. Press okay or load, sorry. And then we have our balance sheet, complete, beautiful and green. We're just gonna rename this one MRP balance sheet to look a bit more organized and feel a bit more professional you're working with big data big companies data so yeah so lastly we're going to do the cash flow statement so we just go to cash flow you know same story as before he has the beautiful cash flow statement with all the data we'd like to extract all the items as you know before and again in millions of rands so you know be aware of that copy the link again control c to copy take it back to excel 
data from web let that bad boy do its thing there we go so we're going to just paste okay and you know the drill by now connecting back to navigator let that load up and then we click through again not table zero most likely table one yes there is our cash flow statement lovely lovely so we press load we'll get the data and there we go so we have all three main statements downloaded so we're just going to rename this mrp cfs cash flow statement you can name it whatever you want so this was just the first of a series of videos don't stress too much about the financial statements we'll show you how to use them Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.